Uh, in this video, we are going to explore the forms that we are going to use in this demo for migration. So let us open some sample forms, like we have in this folder, 10 forms, uh, ranging from very simple to uh, complex. Like this is a simple screen. It has only uh, one table. Transaction screen, very simple. Now we can get uh, complicated by having uh, master detail like this form. It's master detail. It can even get more complicated. Like we can have master with uh, five details. Each detail is in a separate table. Even it can be more complicated. By having different fields like radio, uh, combo, many fields like this. And also it can be even uh, more complicated. like having uh, many details like this each with checkbox, radio, different details and also can be more complicated like this it has more details along with uh, aggregate function and summary information okay what we need to do is to migrate these forms to PDF so in this developer we're going to start by creating a new application well we have here one of two options either custom application or to use PDF fusion uh, fusion web application we support any architecture that you choose and in this demo we are going to use a custom application uh, to ensure that our tool can work with any customized type of ADF applications ok let's name it application 5 in this path I'm going to save this path for later use ok I'm going to name the project as Pharmacy, I'm going to add EDF business components and EDF faces. Okay, now I have constructed my project. Now, what I'm going to do is basically four steps. Two steps are preparatory using JDeveloper and two steps using our tools. So, I'm going to start first step by connecting to the database to generate the business components. So I'm going to use the uh, Oracle here. Now regarding the connection, it's normal database connection parameters. Just to test. Okay, it says password has expired. Okay, so back again after uh, just extending and unlocking the user. Now I'm going to select my uh, package. Let's make a different package for entity objects. I'm going to select all tables. Maybe whatever I don't need, I can uh, remove it. Then view objects. Of course, this is a normal uh, wizard application module and finish so this is the first step out of four and first step out of two preparatory steps using uh, JDeveloper we connected to the database we generated the standard entity objects view objects application module 
anything uh, from business components is now being generated using JDeveloper. So till now, this is using JDeveloper. It's not our tool at all. So this means, okay, it's uh, the steps that you are going to do normally in any project is to connect to the database and see uh, the database objects that you are going to use. Of course, using our tool, we are going to help you in this step. Okay, this is the first step. Second step is that we are going to create a dummy page just for the sake of creating the packages required in, uh, in any application. So I'm going to create this with manage B and I'm going to place it in the different package. Of course, I'm not going to use this page anymore. It's just a dummy page to initialize the libraries used by uh, data, data bindings of uh, ADF. So I'm going just to drag any dummy table from the data control to the page. And uh, I'm going also to add uh, a library. This library helps a lot in uh, migrating the triggers that we are going to explore later. It's not for the sake of migration, it has nothing to do with migration. It's just for the sake of uh, converting the code of the triggers. This is what we are going to explore later. I'm just uh, going to add uh, the library for now. Now my two preparatory steps are done. Okay, now that I have my application ready, I'm going to navigate to the tool. And I'm going to start running it. So now this is the third step. Now here we generate a setting file for our application. This is the folder where our application resides. And this is the system name. So let us generate uh, the setting file it goes into see my 10 application file normally we don't change anything here except uh, the database connection so my service here is different it has a lot of parameters actually in order to help you do uh, many options during the migration the main thing is that we don't have any hard-coded uh, passes, so that's why we support any architecture that you are going to use, whether it's custom, whether it's uh, uh, the standard uh, two applications uh, or two projects application, and one for model, one for view controller. Any uh, any architecture is supported. Okay, now I generated my setting file and. I have modified it, so now comes the fourth step, which is doing the read migration. So now the tool is going to work directly. Now it, it finished everything. Now it migrated 10 forms in 7 seconds. Of course, like it's uh, uh, just few seconds. Now I'm going to explore one of the benefits of the tool. Now I have this is the path of my FMB, see my temp FMB. Now suppose that I want to know what tables are being used so that I can uh, select the business components that I need. So imagine that you need to open each form. And after you open each form, you are going to open each data block in order to check the table used and then group it how much time it's going to take from you. Now let us see how much it is going to take from the tool. This is my pause. I'm going to click on ring table. See, in just uh, less than a second, now all tables are being generated. 
So the report here shows each form with the tables used and summary of the unique tables used here. So whatever your speed is, you cannot get those uh, the, get this information for a single form in less than a second like the tool did so imagine that we have 100 forms of course this would be very time consuming for you in order to detect the tables that are being used in the forms while using the tool it generates in less than a second all tables used so this is one benefit of the tool now whenever we go back to our application what we are going to see is that these forms or these GSPs have been generated along with the beans, everything. So basically, sometimes we need to close the application so that JDeveloper will refresh the files because, of course, the tool adds this uh, in the background, it's not added from JDeveloper. So we need to refresh the files open again application 5 now what we have seen is that the tool migrated all pages in 7 seconds of course it's nothing uh, plus detecting uh, the, the, the tables used in each form and the summary of the full tables used in the whole forms so what we need to do now is to run those forms in order to see what has been generated by the tool this is what we are going to explore in next video.